Chop Yourself haircut. Monday, September 12th, uh, 11 in the morning. I'm pretty sure it's 11. 11 on the dot. Look at me. Um, once again, I gotta start recording this because I haven't done this video stuff in a while. I guess they've accumulated a small pile of swine shit to try to toss in the air to keep people distracted. So I have to keep trudging forward with this until they stop doing it. Bunch of retarded gremlins clawing at my windows because I'm capable of doing cool stuff. That's all they're amounting to at this point. They're just stupid celebrities that keep showing up and talking to the same stupid cockroachy drug addicts and just piss and shit crap about me and then hide every time I stand up and start walking. Currently waiting for me to get up and leave my little area so they can come out here and charade while I'm gone or prove once again that they can beat me up and chase me away to go get cookies and coffee. And I'm really tired of it. Cracked it open, so I'm actually going to make these videos a little more interactive from this point forward. I'm hoping England starts coming down on their side of the fence because I think that is a bigger problem. Some of these English celebrities, actors and actresses, they're coming over to America and doing the worst shit imaginable, like satanic levels of retardation. And the second things get a little too hot, they royal air right on back to England where they're treated like royalty. Figure that out. I don't care if you've got to put on brass knuckles and crack Emma Watson upside the freaking head. While she's spitting up teeth, re-ask her the same questions. I'm pretty sure she might have different answers. I'm so sick of this shit. Last night I was revving up just a little bit and right as I was getting ready to do my little shindig like trio of what looked like teenagers like 14 15 come bumbling out here but they were a little too aimed and they ignored everything as they stumbled over the rocks they went straight over to that little area they sat there for like 40 minutes not making a freaking sound and then filed out of here seemingly on a text or something again ignoring everything and I can't imagine the retarded stories that are being birthed from it just because Jolie lied about me and has been working her fingers to nothing trying to prove said fallacies. I don't get it, but that is the situation I'm currently stuck with. This phone has no service to it. It doesn't even have a phone number. Bought it out of the box and I have to call the internet 800 number and put in credit card numbers and all kinds of fancy stuff to get this thing to even have a phone number. There is no data on it whatsoever. Siri, the little computer inside the phone, is upset at that. Because every time I accidentally mash the buttons together and she comes on to help me with something, she complains that there is no mobile data for her to work with. But I guarantee you that somehow some stupid girl is going to get booty raped into the hospital. And the reason she's going to give the cops, this is retarded here. Is that because they said, and one of the excuses they'll use is that they're texting me commands. No, they're not. Uh, there's no one out here hiding. I guess I have to really kind of do this shit. Otherwise, 13 year old girl is going to get butt raped to death and tell everybody I'm the reason. There's nobody out here. I don't share my space with anybody. I don't have any friends. I'm not part of a cult. I don't get beat up and chased around. I'm not married at all, secretly or openly. I have to do this shit. Right now, I've got a pile of celebrities in a fancy hotel room cackling and cackling because I'm getting a little flustered and excited in my speech here. And now they get to try to call me unstable and delusional and crazy when they're spending God knows how much money pretending that a bunch of cockroaches that hide from me are for whatever reason affiliated with me one way or the other. They're not. They're tweakers and cockroaches. They're waiting for me to pick up my stick and kill one of these idiots so that I'm trapped behind bars for a little while. While I'm behind bars, some stupid worm that looks enough like me tries to slide into my shoes. That's how they get a few celebrities here and there. 
just one tactic of many, and they're throwing everything they've got at me for a little too long, and everybody's letting them. It's pathetic. I mean, like I was ranting to myself earlier. It's Angelina Jolie, Portman, Dwayne Johnson, Hemsworth. At this point, these idiots are fighting to pretend for the pretend. No shit. They've had to put their pretend swine charade on hold to pretend that there's a reason for it. They are literally starting to pretend for the sake of pretending. One guy. Normally I've got like 50 cents in my back pocket, but I did get a little bit of blessing from an elderly lady that has seen me a few times and said, hey Daniel, like I've been trying to prompt some of these women to do. It's not that impossible. There are three. An elderly couple, a woman I don't want to put on blast, and this elderly lady that's seen me a few times and asked me if I could use some stuff, and now I have a phone and enough money for coffee. But there I am, walking down the sidewalk, kind of grumpy, staring at the ground, when all of a sudden I hear, Daniel, and I look up, and there's a conversation to be had. The exact opposite these celebrity women do. Just giggle at me through tinted windows. But I was looking right at you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so, shove off is what I've been trying to tell these celebrities. It's for years now. Watson, Holland, Jolie, Portman. They've made a freaking campaign out of trying to prove these goblins and griblins to be the superior apex prodigies. Take them and go! What is so fucking hard about that? Why are they still slickering around on my back doorstep pretending that they're more important than me? Take them and go! Why don't they? Because they're a bunch of talentless morons. They're pedophiles and cockroaches. They don't have any abilities. They showed people pictures of my shit that they can't reproduce. So now they have to follow me around waiting for me to do something cool so they can point at it and try to take credit for it. But it requires an immense amount of people pretending for them which is so fucking retarded. It's a massive crime wave, which is generally targeted at young girls to get butt raped. And all of it's being fueled and fed by Nelson laughing. It's disgusting. But here we go with another day of these idiots pretending they're important by trying to drop little snarky one-liners as I walk by. so debilitating sometimes. It's like you remember when you were younger and you put on the little like paper mache pirate hat and your little cardboard sword and you were at your fort pretending this grand expanse. That's what like the Illuminati let's just cut their name in half. The retarded pigeons. That's all they do. They're pretending. They're ugly dumb morons stealing from people and pretending this stupid grin on their face and this weird way of talking like they're all suddenly fourth grade teachers with positivity yay class and it's just I guess they get a lot of unintelligent people who can't seem to understand what's going on but like from certain perspective they really do they look like a giant ball of retarded gremlins elbow locked and rolling around hissing and belligerently laughing at like the dumbest stuff it's lame but one of the points for making these videos 10 minutes long just ranting on and on into a camera is that it does kind of illustrate no no one is beating me up and chasing me around I've been here right here here right here here since March 7th March 7th people these tweakers wait in the parking lot, literally hiding from me in front of the girls they're talking shit about me to. 
and then race out here when I'm gone and put on this stupid charade of making me leave. And I, it's just, it's been going on for so long now. What the fuck? I don't know. I guess the next step is to get like a wireless hotspot Wi-Fi thing and a decent GoPro camera that can upload live to YouTube and just leave it running 24-7. Whatever celebrity is here, check the date at the beginning of this video, September 12th. Monday, September 12th, 11.10. So I'm just going to go ahead and shoot that one to shit. There are somebody, some Olivia Wilde, some Portman, some Chanel West Coast. It's sitting in a hotel room here in Morro Bay, waiting for the text to come sprinting out here to try to say hello to me. And she'll get bamboozled by trolls and goblins and have another victimized sob story to spread around Hollywood. But here's the truth of it. She's waiting for me to leave. And she's waiting for the goblins to tell her when to come out here and play her part in the dumb swine charade. How long is this going to go on with you people retarded grinning from ear to ear? I've got important shit I want to start doing. I've got cool stuff I want to start working on again. All I asked for at the beginning was a hello. I had a basement full of amazing... No one to really help me filter it into the system. I figured Jolie would have been perfect. I was all wrong. <sighs> if you're trying to call me a tweaker, I offer drug tests on the spot. I don't partake in that crap. I don't even drink. I don't do heroin. I don't do any of it. I'm not married. Not part of a cult. I don't get beat up. I never gave kids away to anybody. I didn't throw Angelina Jolie in a trash can. It's anything, they can vomit out of their mouths on the spot to divert the conversation and distract people with something for however long it takes for them to get away. And then by the time somebody wants to rebuttal with something intelligent, they're gone. And it's too late. The girl's already been butt raped to retardation. I don't know what the fuck to do here. I've been waiting for a hello. That's it. They want to do it this way, so I'm not going to stop. Let me keep this under 15 minutes so it at least uploads to YouTube. And even though nobody's really watching these, I've got to do them anyway. Yes, I cut my hair a little bit yesterday because I didn't like the way the fro was looking. I don't know. It's kind of choppy. Oh, about my Japanese wooden swords. Okay, look, I've got these two now. That's, hold on, it's Windbreaker, right? But now, because of something Milestones awesome, this is now Stormbreaker Breaker. Stormbreaker Breaker and Cersei. Uh, Cersei I picked out of Oso Flaco Lake Trees, the same place where those Japanese wooden swords were taken from me by Sheriff Park Rangers. Those two items should be collecting dust in an evidence locker. That's it. No, I didn't get beat up and had them taken from me. I had those things on my hip for God knows how long. And then all of a sudden, freaking park rangers over there are inundated with phone calls. I, I don't know. I don't want to get into the details. The only items I didn't get back after I got out of jail were my snake and those sticks. So that's kind of weird. The two things to identify me on the spot. But no, I don't know what the hell is going on with those. I don't leave them out here. I don't hand them off to anybody. I, you guys have got to stop talking to the cockroaches. When you idiots realize the fire you've been feeding this whole time, you're not going to ask God to forgive you, I'll tell you that much. You'll accept the fact that you're going to hell. Because you people are fucking lame. But whatever. Monday, the 12th, September 2022. Just 
waiting for these stupid cockroaches to let go so I can get back to doing cool stuff. Not getting beat up, not getting chased off, not being told what to do. Waiting for these idiots to stop trying to call me delusional when I walk by. Say hello. That's all I've been waiting for. Good God.